Hey YouTube, this is your girl Chi Chi on Get the Tea with the Chi. I'm coming at you guys today with a hot mess. A, a hot, hot mess. I was reviewing some footage <laughs> from a news briefing and it just really disturbed me guys. I mean when I say I'm, I just feel so distraught right now, I really, really do. And it's just bad. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to warn you right now. If you're the type of person that gets sick or queasy or, you know, uh, nauseous because someone's describing something to you or explaining something to you about a situation or a condition, then I advise you not to watch this video because I'm going to be giving you some very graphic stuff today. Um, I'm going to be showing you some really graphic things. Well, not showing, but telling you, explaining something to you. So I don't want anybody to get upset or get sick or anything. Well, Tampa, Florida, we have a lady by the name of Miss Mary Winston. Mary basically um, came here from another country. Of course, the news clipping didn't say where she came from, but she was from another country. And she and her husband and her two daughters and her son lived in Tampa. And um, they, you know, took it upon themselves, the family did, to take care of Miss Winston because she came down with a very, very harsh, severe case of um, rheumatoid arthritis that basically made her immobile, paralyzed her pretty much, where she couldn't fend for herself. So because she's not a U.S. citizen, she didn't have, you know, um, benefits, no Social Security or SSI, things of that nature. She couldn't qualify for them. So she couldn't go into, you know, a nursing home because, you know, that costs money. And if you don't have money or a way to pay for it, then you just can't go. So the family opted to take care of her at home, you know, instead of them trying to actually get the money or try to find a way to work to, you know, or get loans or what have you to try to get her the best care. They were taking care of her at home. Well, <laughs> they weren't really taking care of her at home. Because Miss Winston, she'd been bedridden for three years. Miss Winston died. Um, unfortunately, she was left, you know, in a room, in a bed, um, just lying there, not being moved, not being cleaned, not being cared for properly, to the point of she developed some very huge bed sores. And I don't know if you know about bed sores. People who usually, you know, develop bed sores, if they're not tended to properly or wrapped properly or cleaned properly, they basically can die from septic shock from the, you know, the dead skin, the bad blood, the, I mean, you know, the, po the blood becomes poisonous at that point. Unless there's something stopping that from happening. Well, that happened to Miss Winston. She developed maggots in her body to a degree I mean that they kept her alive because they were eating her dead flesh and her just the dead flesh and skin and to the point of you could actually see her rib cage through her body if you were standing over her looking at her they ate through this woman's flesh in that fashion oh I'm not finished these despicable people allowed her to lie there to the point that her back was so messed up, so severely, just, just so, the sores were just so huge on her back and that she'd been, just been allowed to lie there in that position for so long that the sheet fused to her back. What that means, folks, is that the skin on her back just basically became so decrepit and so loose that the sheet did this. It actually became a part of her body. I'm not through. These nasty people allowed her to lie there to the point they didn't clean her properly. Her her couldn't have cleaned her her her, her lady part her parts at all because she was smelling like urine and feces when they removed the body from the house. Also, her legs were fused together. 
Do you know how long a person has to be lying in a position in order for their skin to start decaying on their legs and then they actually st fuse and stick together or they don't come apart where the leg actually now becomes one just to, at the top where you just, you know, you don't have two thighs, you have just one. I was appalled. I'm, I'm just appalled. I, I, I was so hurt. I was so hurt when I when I when I when I saw this. When I read the commentary on it, it's just how can you let somebody live like that? And do you know that that they questioned the daughter, one of the daughters, and she had the audacity to say they it was you know they didn't expect for it to be the way it was. It was just I guess you know so far, you know um, it was hard for them to take care of her that they they didn't they didn't really know that it, you know to what extent things would go or how they would have to take care of her and they were afraid to say something because you know she'd gotten so bad off they were afraid to say something so they just let her lay there and decay and get eaten up that's some I, I don't want to curse that's some jacked up ratchet jacked up ratchet crap that's some that's some messed up st stuff right there that's, that's just really messed up. So now they're in custody, the two daughters and the, and the husband. Let me tell you their names. Let me look, hold up. I'm looking at Let me tell you their names so y'all will know who these people are. And you, you just so you will know exactly who these ratchet and uncaring, selfish, evil demons are. The husband, his name was Osmond Montgomery Winston. Her daughters are Belinda J. Winston and Hyacinth Winston. Now they're in custody but her son who's 45 years old his name is Osmond Ignatius Winston. He lives in Gibsonton, Florida. Um, he's still at large. Now Winston, if you're, if you're watching this by any chance anything could happen, anything's possible, please turn yourself in honey. Please because you know, they'll probably go a little bit easier on you if you turn yourself in than them having to chase you and hunt you down. But you know what you did was wrong. I mean, it was wrong. And, and it just made me think, because, you know, my mom's still alive. Thank the Lord for that. And I love her. I love my mom. I love my mom to life. You know how people say, I love my mom to death. I love my mom to life. Okay, I'm a ride or die for my mom. Okay, I would mess somebody up over my mom. There's no way that I would let that happen to her. I would do whatever I could. I would do whatever I could to make sure my mother was never in that situation. So it makes me wonder, was, was, was the wife a bad wife? Was she a bad mother? I mean, was she that much of a bitch? I'm sorry, that. They had the y'all the y'all had to just let her that, that the lady suffer like that. I mean, could you imagine you being just imagine you're lying in a bed yourself, so sick, so much pain is going through your body, you can't do anything for yourself, and you're lying there, and you can smell your urine, you can smell your feces been sitting there for days. And on top of that, you're hurting because your legs are stuck together. Your back is hurting. Your body's hurting you because you're lying in a spot and you can't move yourself. And then on top of that, you can actually see your body and see maggots crawling on you, eating at your flesh. They need to burn in hell. They need to burn in hell. Your worst enemy shouldn't have to go through that. I, I look at it like this. Some of the crimes that are committed in the world, especially here in America, if, I mean, I know it'll never happen, but the way that people hurt other people, they should be hurt the same way. That's just how I feel. If you lay, you let, your, let, let her lay there like that, you need to lie there like that and have it happen to you. Because some things just aren't right, aren't called for, and just are just downright cruel. 
And I just can't I just can't believe that somebody would do some mess like that. That's just some messed up. They should never be able to get out of jail. I'm sorry. Cause how can you just how can you be in the other room sleeping? And you know your mother's in there like that. I'm sure the lady was probably crying out or moaning or I don't know, maybe they kept her drugged up so she couldn't feel the pain. I don't I I really don't know. They don't they, they didn't go that far into detail about that. Maybe I'll do a part two to let you know what else I find out, but I tell you, I, I just wish the world would change that I, I really do. I just wish that the world could change, that all the bad people could just disappear. I, 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 I just wish that they would just disappear into thin air. Just be gone. Poof. You're gone. I'm sorry. I, I just don't know. I'm, I'm just really, this, this just really bothers me tremendously to know somebody would would do somebody like that. Well, until next time, guys. Um, I, like I said, I'll leave the link for you to watch the uh, the news briefing on it. And um, may God bless you. Um, this is the Chi Chi with get the tea with the Chi. I'm signing out now. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, okay? Thanks. Good night.